So now we are in the position number one on the turret. The last step we have to do. Let's check uh, first uh, that we are on the mechanical position number one. And we need to make this to lead only when the turret is in this position and the encoder is well calibrated. So let's go to the PLC. Uh, left arrow key and diagnosis version ladder monitor uh, let's stop the PLC let's enter one input and uh, we need to hit the empty sub, um, sub key and the right key and enter 1131 input and now we have the option to write and modify the the PLC so let's uh, monitor the output Y63 which is this uh, LED so the only modification we need to do is to replace this uh, normal and uh, uh, negated uh, contact M6410 with a, uh, we need to eliminate that. So let's go back and write uh, a line over that and input. Okay. And let's go back, convert, input. Now the conversion has been completed. And we are gonna save. Uh, oh, sorry. We need to save now the PLC. Uh, let's go to two from the CNC to the hard drive. Let's overwrite that file. And overwrite all the languages, file languages. Okay, and exit from here, and we need to also do a wrong copy from the RAM to the flash ROM. Okay, and save it to the, let's close first, and save it to the compact flash uh, memory. Let's look for the folder where this will go. Here. And this folder, rather. Select. And save. And override all the files. Okay, yes, 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 yes. There's a problem with the one file. Let me check. Uh, okay, let's start the PLC. Zero input, and the light is the light is lit now. Let's end here. 
Um, let's go to the PLC folder to see which files we have on the languages. Okay. For some reason, we still have. Uh, we bring the whole, uh, the whole language uh, la uh, files, which is 160. So we need to modify that. Uh, we will open this with the notepad. And we need to enter here the description for the alarm 380, which is the MRJ2. When it has any alarm, will trigger this uh, CLC alarm. So let's modify that and save it. <laughs> 